Guten Tag, I am Amjad. Good day, my friends. Today we are going to start the German language level A1. Today I am going to share with you the German language learning methods totally different from the root methods. Before we are going to start why German language is important, German is the most widely spoken native language in Europe spoken in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Belgium, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein. Now I am going to introduce techniques and tricks. You may find details. Use your memory by Tony Buzan. How to develop perfect memory by Dominic O'Brien. Superpower memory by Harry Lauren. Everybody is worried about his or her memory. Everyone say I have very bad memory. I forget things very quickly. There is no good memory and no bad memory, but there is a trained and untrained memory. So over So we are going to deal with uh, the association means Association, imagination, pack system, link system, rhyme system, mnemonics. Mnemonics used to describe memory techniques such as those you are about to learn. If you want to remember anything, all you have to do is to associate, link it with some known or fixed item with imagination or visualization. In order to remember well, you must include in your associated and linked mental landscape the following. Color. The more color you use, the more vivid they are. The better you will memorize. Imagination. Your imagination is the powerhouse of your memory. The more vividly you can imagine, the more easily you will remember. Expansion. The more gigantic and enormous you can make your mental image, the better you will remember. Contraction. If you can clearly imagine your picture as extremely tiny, you will remember it very well. Absurdity. Rhyme. Movement. As often as possible, try to make your mental image move. Moving objects, you are usually remember better still ones. The senses means here you will use your all senses testing, touching, smelling, seeing, hearing, and feeling. Sex sequencing and ordering. Sex means you are giving a making a feminine or masculine or neuter whatsoever. Number dimension also. Crashing things together, sticking things together, placing things on top of each other, placing things underneath each other, placing things inside each other, substituting things for each other, placing things in new situations. So we are going to start from this book, Netzwerk, Deutsch, Als, Fremdsprache. It's recommended by the Goethe Institute. You will learn from this all 12 chapters of this. Before we are going to start our language, I will introduce you the method of association, how to fix the vocab or the vocabulary of the German language with the known items. So there are three genders in German language, masculine, feminine, and neuter. So we are going to fix each masculine gender or feminine gender or the neuter gender with different objects. So first of all, in English, we will use the for the is used for the definite article and here there are three different ways that represent the articles of 
the nouns just like first of all I'm going to give you the example thus neutral Norman we are going to fix that is the or here we will uh, put the neuter noun or the name of the neuter noun here thus thus means the neuter noun and we will fix that neuter noun with this burning fire with logs with green color for example das bad it's a neuter noun in german language so we are going to fix with the burning fire with green color if you will imagine this picture in your head and use your all senses you will never forget this wicked or this word or this object means das bad the bad it's a neutral noun of german language so you will never forget and you will give the finishes just like das bad is written over there or das bad is just like blinking of the lights over there so you will never forget and you will give the uh, sound as well means das bad if you are sleeping on the bed and it's pronunciation it's shouting like das bad with burning fire the other one is d the is used for feminine norman means we are going to fix our feminine noun of german language with this red skirt so you are going to memorize the skirt with red color and you will fix your feminine german vocab on this skirt i will give you the example for that d swabel the onion it's a feminine gender here i didn't found the red color so i am giving or i am imagining imagination i am visualizing the onion which are stitched on the red skirt and i am seeing the picture of that onions on the red skirts if some girl is wearing this it would be the ridiculous and you will never forget this word d swabel the onion is feminine gender and you will give the touches just like d swabel is written over there on the girl skirt and you are going to touch that onions and it's shouting like d swabel means you are giving the movement the 3d dimension in your head and it's totally represent the association now the third gender of the uh, german language is the masculine norman dear the represent the masculine of english or german you are going to fix the masculine object with this boxer or some say that is the underwear okay so i will give you the example for that dear hon it's a masculine noun of the german language so i am going to fix the dear hon on the boxer if the dog is wearing a blue color boxer the color would be the blue for the masculine so the dog masculine gender if i am carrying this dog in the streets how people will see that it's a ridiculous it's out of routine so you will remember this things very quickly so if you are if there is a written with the dear hund with the lights and it's blinking like the indicator so you will remember it very well so that's it so our associations we will further do in our next lectures how we will start that 
these things okay so first of all we are going to introduce the alphabet there's another book uh, uh, the everything essential of german okay german have the same as the english alphabets but one extra is the s set that's just like a beta sign sound like double s okay i told you in before the starting in the lecture how we will study it it's a das alphabet it's a neuter noun so how you will remember das alphabet is a neuter noun you are going the this word das alphabet on burning fire with green color so you will never forget das alphabet it's a neuter noun and the abc is also on the fire with green color so i i i told you how to memorize when we were in uh, when we were in childhood how we memorize the abc just like a b c d so we are going to start like that okay first of all i will give you the proper pronounce pronunciation and we will practice in our head okay means we are repeating in our head and we will giving the imagination the a is on fire and it's shouting like a ah. it's a of english but it's a ah of german a ah. two dots are on the a it's called a ah, umlaut b c d a f g h e y k l m n o o umlaut o umlaut it's two dots on o p q r s t u umlauts so there are three umlauts in german alphabets a o and u okay that's a vowel it's not a v it's a vowel and that's the way not a w x epsilon z how we will study that in a, a ri rhyme rhyme form okay we'll uh, we will start a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v v x y z 